so this little video is just to show you how to do your home testing which is what you will be required to do they're lateral flow devices so it's a lateral flow test that you're doing honestly it's very very easy and it's quite reassuring that you can test yourself and know that you're positive you'll be advised by the school which days they want you to test on and what you will be given is enough to last you these that's the lateral flow device test device and then there's the swab there's a little tube that you're going to use and the buffering fluid that's what you'll be given now you need to get yourself some sort of a timing device your phone will be fine absolutely fine for it so washing your hands you'll lay your stuff out you want a clean surface you don't have to be neurotic you don't have to bleach it you just want a nice clean surface you need something where you can put this at an angle okay because uh, if you've got fluid in it, you tip it upside down, the fluid will come out or if it gets knocked over. So what you need to do is make sure you've got somewhere where you can just keep it up at an angle. So to start off with, we'll open up your test. You can check the expiry date, but they should all be fine. There's a tear, you tear. You've washed your hands, you've got your nice clean surface, you've got everything you need with you. Box of tissues or a tissue nearby, your hand gel. Then you tip it out. comes with one of these things that are um, the desiccators so that it doesn't get damp and horrible. Never touch it anywhere other than at the sides. If you look at it, you can see there's a little hole at the bottom and there's an S next to it. That's the sample port. Can you see? And then there's another wider window at the top. There's a C and a T. You will have information, makes it nice and clear, tells you what it is, if you couldn't see that very clearly. So the S stands for sample, that's where you're going to put the sample when you collect it. The C stands for control, and what you want to see when the test is finished is a red line across the C, because that means it's worked. What you don't want to see is another red line, because that means the test, the T, is positive. So hopefully that will be negative at your 30 minutes. So, to start off with, you've washed your hands, you've got all your equipment out with you, you've tipped this out, you've checked it, you've got it lying flat, it needs to lie flat. Your buffer fluid, make sure you take the small top off it, so that you've got the nozzle, can you see the nozzle? Some of them, there are different bottles, some of them, if you take off the whole thing, can you see you've now got an enormous hole and we need to put six drops in, so that's not gonna work with the enormous hole. So just make sure, when you take the nozzle off, the top off you've got a nozzle then get your little fancy pipette thing you're going to put six drops in don't worry it's all written down here you don't have to remember it you just have to do it so gentle squeeze one two three four five six just gently squeezing it and the drops will come out you'll get used to it and you can put your lid back on of your buffer fluid now you blow your nose <laughs> That's just to get ready of any big bogeys. Sanitise your hands. So rubbing your hands. You should all know how to wash your hands properly now. Sanitising your hands. Now you're going to get out the swab. So the swab, the best analogy I can think of is a bottle brush. And what we're going to do is bottle brush up our nose. You can do your throat, your tonsils at the back of your throat. But that's very difficult to do. It's very difficult to do for yourself. It's very difficult to do properly. You end up doing a whole mouth swab, which is what we don't want. It is perfectly acceptable to just do both nostrils with one thing, the same thing. So to open it up, it states quite clearly, open. So peel it open. Peel it open about a third or halfway down and then pull it straight out. And you'll see what I mean about the bottle brush. You see how it's got like a little... The end there looks like a little bottle brush. This is the fun bit. Um, it'll, if it makes you cry or sneeze, it means you've done a good job. What you've got to do is get it right up the nose. So I'm not talking about this squidgy little bit here. I'm talking right the way up the nose. You might find it easier to use a mirror or you might find after a while you don't need to use the mirror. Um, I'm not going to use the mirror uh, because I've been doing it for a while and also I forgot to put one out. So you're going to go up your nose. So it doesn't matter which nose you go up first, go up the nose and you're going to go a long way. Look how far I've gone up. Oh, it's not pleasant, I have to tell you. It's not awful, it's not really nice either. Or oh, given a choice of things to do, I'd rather eat chocolate. 
Right, so up you go for a good 10 seconds each side, sweeping it around, so you're really rolling it around. Oh, yeah. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> There's what I prepared earlier. A good 10 seconds in one nostril, and then you've got to go up the other nostril. So you go up the other nostril. Try not to hit your cheek on the root. Just go all the way up. Now look again. Look how far up I'm going. I mean, I feel like <laughs> here I go. Oh, oh, it's going to be easy again. I'm going to have to finish that off because I didn't do 10 seconds. Oh, up we go. What? <laughs> it makes you cry as well. <coughs> as you can see, I'm having a good cry. So a good 10 seconds up each nostril. Instructions are all there, so you don't have to worry. Now, your prepared little pipette, which has got your six drops in, We've now got this, the end of this, this bottle brush end, is loaded potentially with the virus. So we need to get it into the buffer solution so that we can put it onto the test slip. So you put it in directly towards the bottom. And what you're going to do, the bottom of it is quite squidgy, so we're going to squeeze and massage. I don't know if you can see, but the fluid will come right up. So we're squeezing and turning the swab for 15 seconds. Well, we're basically washing off, we're kind of wringing out, washing off, getting all the virus, potentially, hopefully not, off into the buffer fluid for a good 15 seconds. And then what we want to do, you don't want to lift this straight up, because if you lift it straight up, um, you might not have enough fluid left in. We need a couple of drops for there. So the best thing to do is to squeeze it and then pull it through where you've squeezed it just to wring it out, get the last bit off. All the stuff you've used can just go into your black, your bin at home, no problem. Now this is where I think this is very clever, this bit. This little lid, try not to touch the point there, swing it round and push it firmly in. And now we've transformed it into a pipette. So can you see? So now, have a look at it. Make sure you haven't got any bubbles in. You don't want to get bubbles because it may, you may have to redo the test. You don't want to redo the test when you put bubbles onto there. So what you're going to do is you're going to gently tip it upside down. I have to do this flat, so I won't be able to show it. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to have it flat. Try not to touch the actual little portal. So slightly above it, gently squeeze two drops in. So one two. Now you set your timer off. That just goes into the bin. So what will be happening now, now I've finished sneezing all over the place, as I'm just doing this one for demonstration purposes, you wouldn't normally lift it up and angle it, but I'm going to lift it up and angle it just to show you. So do not do this at home, keep it flat at home. Can you see the little colour gradually coming up? That means you have got the two drops on. It's such magic science. It's soaking up through there. The C is where you, you will start to see a red line show. I don't know if it will show on the camera well enough. The red line then means that you have done the test properly. If that red line doesn't appear, it's a void and you'll have to do another one. It hasn't worked. So we'll leave that now for the, the time. If I show you this, you yep, you can see nice and clearly on this. That C line without the T, that's what you want. That means it's a negative. The control worked, but it's negative. If you get no lines, it's void. Something's gone wrong. It haven't worked. If you get two red lines, you're positive, and then you'll have to follow the correct procedure and protocols at the time for what you have to do. So you will get this piece of paper, which is nice and clear. Instructions are really clear on it. You just need to follow them. 
it's honestly very easy. We've been doing it down at the prep um, for ages now, and the prep staff have been doing it at home for over the half before half term and, and on return from half term. So I'm sure you'll find it easy. The logistics of how we're going to be um, handing them out will be sorted out later. You'll get um, information passed on about that. So for now, please be reassured, it's very easy to do. I did clearly demonstrate how it can make you cry and sneeze, and I didn't set that up. It does, and I've been doing it for ages, it does. But it means you've got up high. If you're crying and sneezing, you've done it well. So, bye-bye.